So I'm welcoming you to join our class in Qigong, but before you begin class, it's a good idea to have a little introduction and understanding about what Qi is and what Qigong practice. Now you may have heard of Qi before as being a life force that goes through the body, but it is a life force that goes through everything. And basically in Qigong, we use our hands and our feet and our head as receptors for this chi. So if you think of the feet, they're positioned at the ground and the feet are receptors for what we call earth chi. And the head positioned up is a receptor for heaven chi. And our hands are used for the blend of earth and heaven chi. So what is earth chi? What is heaven chi? If you think of this life force that's intrinsic in everything, animating everything, it blends with the different elements of nature. So the more dense form of chi is earth chi. And earth chi is more yin in nature because the chi is blending with a field of the earth's magnetic field. And it, heaven chi is blending with the firmament, the stars, uh, the sky, the air. So you have these two uh, yin and yang type of energies that are passing through our body. And in a sense, our body is made up of matter and energy. And we are a combination of this yin and yang force. So in Qigong, we're working on moving this force through our body and uh, drawing in qi. Now, why do we need to move qi through our body? For what purpose do we do this if uh, qi is already in our body? Qi uh, can actually stagnate if it's not moving, and it can cause energetic blockages, physical blockages. And what that means is when the qi flow uh, doesn't move, there can be changes in our mental, physical, and emotional health. And uh, we want to use techniques for moving the chi through the body. And just like when we breathe in and breathe out, we're drawing in air and in, in the same way we take in chi and then we have to expel out stagnation. We have to expel out carbon dioxide. We use our hands and we use movement to release and expel the chi that, that's stagnating, that's not moving. And then we draw in fresh chi. So in a sense, uh, the chi, when it's not moving, it blends with uh, matter that's not healthy. And so just like our blood needs to keep moving and removing dead cells, we need to keep the flow of chi going. And sometimes the flow of chi is weak and we need to strengthen the flow of chi. So we use our hands and, to and feet and head as receptors for this energy and we do movement and we use our mind and our breath. So it's not just about performing beautiful movements, it's also about internal work. And part of the internal work is learning to sense the chi. And we sense the chi by identifying it in the body. We don't use imagination. We actually learn to sense the incoming chi moving and we guide it with our mind. We guide it through the body. So that's a lot of the nei gong, or the internal practices that are occurring in qi gong. So that just gives you a little basic idea. And when we can move the qi through the body, we can clear blockages, we can feel, we can become healthy, and we can have a sense of well-being as well. So qi is very important and it's a part of our selves. It's just that we have spent our life being out there rather than in here. And a lot of blockages have occurred by denying our natural ability to have the chi flow through our body. So we want to clear our blockages. We want to open up our channels so the chi can flow through our body, flow through our meridians, flow into the energy gates of the body and enhance our sense of well-being.